Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. Now, Spit Squad, Eminem mom has passed away. She is dead at the age of 69, his mom, Debbie, and one thing we know about Eminem music is he put everything in there, and he spoke about his relationship with him and his mom, and it wasn't the best at all, man, and um, so it was even a line where he said, you'll never see her. She won't even be at your funeral, and he spoke to Hay about Haley, but Haley is grown now, and I'm sure Haley has her own um, thoughts and opinions now. So I'm definitely sure that she'll be at her funeral. But now I wonder in hindsight, how does Eminem feel about this situation that now his mom is actually gone, that time has passed, that he's had a chance to mature. Maybe she's had a chance to mature. Maybe he's matured to the point where he can see where he played a role in making things worse, or maybe he made a played a role of where he felt like he could have wrenched out more when he didn't. And hindsight, I always tell you this, is 2020, man. At the end of the day, the day got to end. So you get to the end of some of this stuff that's going on and you start realizing like, yo, what was we into it for? What was I acting like that for? Um, and most of the times it'd be just because you'd be hurt by the situation. It don't be, well, I ain't going to say it don't be because the person did something because the person definitely could have beat and did something. But it mostly be about the hurt and you just be lashing out at the things that happen. So um, Eminem, man, it's a crazy situation right now. But, you know, his mom passed away. But I, I doubt he super private, too. So I doubt he put out a statement about this. If he put out a statement about this, it'll be in some music a year from now, six months from now, two years from now. But I highly doubt that he'll do a sit-down interview unless it's like with one of the biggest platforms in the world. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair.